Good morning to all. Today let's consider the concepts of stationary distribution. In this session, we discuss the question whether a Markov chain, regardless of initial state i, reaches a steady state or stable state after a large number of transition or moves. Clear? In this session, we discuss the question whether a Markov chain, regardless of initial state i, reaches a steady state after a large number of transitions. In other words, under what condition, if any n tends to infinity, pijn tends to a limit, say pi, independent of the initial state i. That is, pn tends to a stochastic matrix whose row sums are identity. When such limits exist, the probability settled down and became stable. The chain then shows some long-run regularity properties. For that, let's consider a Markov chain with the state space S is equal to 0, 1 and transition probability matrix P equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. For this chain, we can find P2 that is P squared that is equal to P into P. That is P into P that is equal to for the P square values we have 0 0.61. 0 0.39, 0 0.52, 0 0.48. Then let's consider P4. That is P square into P square. And, and we get this matrix. That is 0 0.5547, 0 0.4251. 0 0.5668, 0 0.4332. Again, let's consider P8. That is P4 into P4. Then we get this one. And please look at the results. Here we have 0 0.55. Here we have approximately 0 0.57. 0 0.5, 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.5657, 0 0.4, 0 0.4. That is the matrix P8 is almost identical to the matrix P4. And each row of P8 has almost identical entries. Clear? These are almost identical to P4 and P4, P8 are almost identical. And each row of P8 has almost identical entries. In fact, it seems that Pijn is converging to some value as n tends to infinity, which is same for all i. From these two results, it is clear that Pij is converging to some value as n tends to infinity which is same for all i. In other words, there seems to exist a limiting probability that the process will be in state j after a large number of transitions and the value is independent of the initial state. That means in the initial state we have P is equal to 0 0.7, 0 0.3, 0 0.4 and 0 0.6. But in P4 we have 0 0.55, 0 0.56, 0 0.42, 0 0.43. Here also we have 0 0.5, 0 0.4, 0 0.57, 0 0.4 values. That means that it seems to exist a limiting probability that the process will be in state J after a large number of transitions 
and the value is independent of the initial state. A collection sequence pi j is called a stationary distribution or stable distribution or invariant distribution of the given chain if first one pi j greater than or equal to 0 where j belongs to s and sigma pi j equal to 1 and pi j equal to sigma i belongs to s pi i pi j where i and j belongs to s. We have the three conditions that is pi j greater than or equal to 0 sigma pi j equal to 1 and pi j equal to sigma pi i pi j where i and j belongs to s. In matrix notation the equation pi j equal to sigma i belongs to s pi i pi j can be written as pi equal to pi p or pi into p minus i equal to 0 that is pi p minus i into pi equal to 0 where pi is the vector of pi i pi j's and we have also pi p square equal to which can be written as pi into p into p we have the result pi p equal to pi so pi p into p that is pi p is pi so pi into p that is equal to pi then what about pi p cube pi into p square into p we have already write pi p square as pi so pi into this p is here pi p that is pi similarly we can write pi p raised to n is equal to pi for all n now we have some results related to the stationary distribution if x dot has the distribution pi equal to sequence pi j then xn has a distribution pi for every n showing that the distribution of xn is stationary as the time passes clear if x naught has the distribution of pi equal to sequence pi j then xn has a distribution pi for every n showing that the distribution of xn is stationary as the time passes. Next we have the theorem, ergodic theorem. I am here giving the theorem only. Let sequence xn, n greater than or equal to 0, be an irreducible Markov chain. You are familiar with irreducible. With TPM, transition probability matrix, P equal to Pij. I and J can take value 0, 1, 2, 3, etc. If the chain is transient or a recurrent null, then there exists no stationary distribution. What is the condition of transient? Fjj star less than 1. If the chain is aperiodic, aperiodic means periodicity 1 and recurrent, recurrent means Fjj star is equal to 1 non-null, then it is ergodic. Ergodic means a persistent non-null aperiodic state is known as ergodic. Then the limit, limit n tends to infinity, pijn equal to pi j exists and are independent of the state i. Furthermore, sequence pi j, j equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, etc., is a stationary distribution of the chain and is unique. Now we have considered the converse of the ergodic theorem. For an irreducible aperiodic Markov chain, if there exists a unique stationary distribution, then the chain is ergodic and pi j equal to limit tendence to infinity pi j n equal to 1 by mu j j which is greater than 0. Thus, 
for an irreducible Markov chain, ergodicity is a necessary and sufficient condition for the existence of pi j satisfying pi j greater than or equal to 0, sigma pi j equal to 1 and pi p equal to pi. Then we have another result. If p is finite, doubly stochastic. What is the meaning of doubly stochastic? Rows sums are 1 and columns sums are 1 and a periodic. Then the chain is ergodic and admits a unique stationary distribution. Once again, if P is finite, means finite number of states. Doubly stochastic, that means row sum 1, column sum 1. And a periodic, periodicity 1. Then the chain is ergodic. Ergodic means persistent, non-null, a periodic state. And admits a unique stationary distribution. Then another one. If a finite Markov chain is irreducible, aperiodic and has doubly stochastic transition probability matrix, then limit n tends to infinity pijn equal to 1 by n, where capital N is the number of states in the Markov chain. Once again, if a finite Markov chain is irreducible, aperiodic and has doubly stochastic transition probability matrix, then limit n tends to infinity pijn equal to 1 by n where n is the number of states in the Markov chain. Now let's do a problem. Obtain the stationary distribution for the Markov chain with the transition probability matrix P is equal to 0, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 2 by 3, 0, 1 by 3, 1 by 3, 2 by 3, 0. Also obtain the mean recurrence time for each state. We have three, three states that is 0, 1 and 2. First we have to find out the stationary distribution and then we have to obtain the mean recurrence time. Mean recurrence time is our mu j. Here let's consider the solution. The Markov chain with the given transition probability matrix is reducible or irreducible. Let's consider the figure. 0 to 1 is possible, 1 to 0 possible, then 0 to 2 possible, then 2 to 0 possible, 1 to 2 possible, then 2 to 1 possible, then what is meaning 0 to 1 and 1 to 0 possible, 1 to 2 and 2 to 1 possible, which implies 0, 2, 2 and 2, 2, 0 possible. That means the state is, the chain is irreducible. Then what about this period? Let's consider the period of 0. Start from 0, reaches 0 in 2 steps possible. That is 0, 2, 1 and 1, 2, 0 possible. Then starts from 0, reaches 2 in 1 step, then 2 to 1 in 2nd step, then 1 to 0 in 3rd step. That is possible. So in 3 step possible, then 1 to 0 to 1, 1 to 2, 2 to 1, then 1 to 0. In 4 step possible, so etc. Then GCD of 2, 3, 4, etc. is 1. That means state 0 is aperiodic. So it is reducible, aperiodic. Here we have finite number of states only. So it is finite and doubly stochastic. What is the meaning? Here we have row sums, in all rows, row sums 1, and column sums are also. 1. 
that is the marco chain with given tpm is irreducible a periodic finite and doubly stochastic hence the stationary distribution exists uniquely and is given by pi is equal to 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 since pi j equal to 1 by 3 4 j equal to 0 1 2 we have three states okay the stationary distribution pi is pi not pi 1 pi 2 if it exists is given by pi equal to pi p that is pi not pi 1 pi 2 equal to pi not into pi not pi 1 pi 2 into our p matrix transition probability matrix which gives the system of equations that is pi not is equal to 2 by 3 pi 1 plus 1 by 3 2 uh, sorry 1 by 3 into pi 2 that is equation number 1 then pi 1 is equal to pi not by 3 into 2 pi 2 by 3 equation number 2 then pi 2 is equal to 2 by 3 pi not plus pi 1 by 3 that is equation number 3 and also we have pi not plus pi 1 plus pi 2 equal to 1 we have a condition pi j greater than or equal to 0 uh, sigma pi j is equal to 1 and pi p equal to pi so substituting equation number 2 in equation number 1 let's solve these equations for that substituting equation number 2 in equation number 1 that is we have pi 1 substitute the value of Uh, this value in this place that is pi not is equal to 2 by 3 into pi not by 3 plus 2 pi 2 by 3 plus pi 2 by 3 solving this we get pi not is equal to pi 2 here that is our equation number 5 then substituting pi 2 equal to pi not in equation number 1 substituting pi 2 equal to then what about pi not is equal to 2 by 3 pi 1 plus 1 by 3 pi not which gives pi not is equal to pi 1 so we can write pi 1 in terms of pi pi not and pi 2 in terms of pi not from the last two equations we get pi not equal to pi 1 equal to pi 2 but we have the condition that pi not plus pi 1 plus pi 2 equal to 1 that means 3 pi not equal to 1 then pi not can be takes value pi 1 by 3 since pi not equal to pi 1 equal to pi 2 we have pi 1 equal to 1 by 3 pi 2 equal to 1 by 3 thus the stationary distribution is pi equal to pi not pi 1 pi 2 that is equal to 1 by 3 1 by 3 1 by 3 okay then we have the mean recurrence time for the state j mean recurrence time for the state j is mu j j that is equal to 1 by pi j that is 1 divided by 1 by 3 One divided by one by three that is equal to three. For j equal to zero, one and two. Clear? Thank you.